What's up guys, it's your favorite QB coach and give me six months of your time and I'll give you the best golf swing of your life. So welcome back to the channel. In this particular video, we're gonna be taking a look at Matthew Wolf's golf swing versus Cameron Champ's golf swing. So if you ever wondered, what are the differences between these two swings? Well, this is the perfect video for you, and let's go ahead and jump in. But before we get into the video, I wanna give a quick shout out to our sponsor, and that is Kiwi Golf Japan. If you're too busy or you just can't make it out to our locations for lessons, Kiwi Golf Japan is the membership site for you. With over 240 plus videos of golf instruction, we have everything on the site you could possibly want. So go ahead and check out that link down below and now let's get into the video. So like I said in the intro, this particular video is going to be a Cameron Champ golf swing versus Matthew Wolf golf swing. But I also want to talk about some other important points. And one of those important points will be, are these players flattening the club shaft all the way on the downswing? This is something that I hear almost all of my clients say that they believe that you should be flattening the club shaft all the way into impact or shallowing the club shaft all the way into impact. So I think these two particular players are definitely known for flattening the club shaft or shallowing the club shaft. So if any of the players on the PGA Tour would be doing this, these might be the players that actually would be doing this. So we're gonna take a look at that and see if they actually are. Once we get past that, we're gonna break down the differences between these two swings because there's definitely some similarities but you know also quite a big difference between these two swings as well and then after that the very last part we'll go ahead and take a look at one of our players one of our professional golf swings and take a look at maybe a slightly different action but a pretty similar action to these players and you can kind of get you know a good range of what you might want to do with your own golf swing so let's go ahead and take a look at the shallowing motion first so when we want to take a look at the shallowing motion, or I like to call it the flattening motion, you want to draw a line on the club shaft at the very top of the swing, right? Right when the hands are about to start going downwards, that's the top of the swing or position four. Now from here, the next position, drop the hands down a little bit, draw a line on the club shaft um, like we did before. And if these two lines right here are intersecting in this fashion, this means the player has flattened in this position or shallowed the golf club, you could also call it. Again, I don't like the term shallowing, but he's definitely flattening the club club shaft in this section. Now, as we continue to move Cameron Champ down, you could argue actually at this point now, he's not flattening the club shaft anymore. He's actually just lowering the club shaft. And as we continue to move him down into position five, we can see more of the same. The club shaft is just lowering in this section and he's actually not flattening the club shaft. So already Cameron Champ has proved, even though he's one of those players that's known for shallowing the golf club or flattening the club shaft, he's actually not doing it throughout the whole downswing. He's only doing it in this little transition area area from P4 to just past P4. Maybe you could call that P4.5. And then from here to position five, he's actually lowering the club shaft. And then he continues to lower the club shaft until right around P5.5 to where he now actually starts to steepen the club shaft from this section into the golf ball. And you can quite clearly see that by this position right here and here. See how much the club head and club shaft has moved out towards the golf ball? This is called steepening the plane, right? Or twisting the plane to move that club head more out towards the golf ball. This is exactly the opposite of flattening or shallowing the golf club. So as you can see, Cameron Champ, does he flatten or shallow the golf club all the way into impact? He absolutely does not. Now, a little bit later in the video, we're gonna show you exactly what it would look like if they actually flattened or shallowed all the way into impact, so you guys could get a good visual of that. But let's go take a look at Matthew Wolf first and see if he shallows the golf club or flattens the club shaft all the way into impact. So let's do the same thing for Matthew Wolf. Let's draw the club shaft um, or the line on the club shaft and take a look at the next section here. So as you can see, he is absolutely flattening the club shaft or shallowing the club shaft in this section. And then as he continues to down to this position right here, just past position five, he is also continuing to flatten the club shaft in this section. And then even into this section, you could argue that he's slightly flattening or shallowing the golf club in this section. So he's definitely flattening or shallowing a lot more and a lot longer than Cameron Champ. However, does he continue to do this into the golf ball? Well, let's go take a look at this next position. So as you can see from P5.5 or almost P6 to this position right here, now the club shaft is actually starting to steepen and to move a little bit more on top of the plane so that he's actually not flattening in this section. He's steepening the club shaft. So even though Matthew Wolf is flattening or shallowing the golf club for the longest time compared to most uh, PGA Tour players, he's still not doing it throughout the whole downswing. He's actually steepening 
the club as he approaches the golf ball. So for all of you guys at home who think that you should be flattening or shallowing the golf club all the way on the downswing for real, that is absolutely incorrect. Again, we'll get into maybe feel as well. Maybe some of you guys might need to feel that. But even Matthew Wolf, who is known for flattening and shallowing the golf club, he does not do this all the way into impact. So now let's take some time and show you what it would look like if they actually did flatten or shallow the club shaft all the way into impact. So we're gonna use Matthew Wolf for this example. So if he were to actually do this, at this position in the golf swing, first off, the hands would be a lot higher than they currently are if you were to actually flatten all the way into impact. So his hands would probably be somewhere right around here height-wise. And then the club shaft, you would see somewhere right around here at this point in the golf swing. So the club head would not have been at the golf ball. It'd be well inside the ball line. So if you continue to flatten all the way into impact, even if you start at a really cross line position like Matthew Wolf, you would actually still get to a point to where the club head would be so far inside the ball that you would miss the ball completely, right? It'd be impossible to hit the golf ball. So for all of you at home, hopefully all of this, you know, information that I've given you so far should make you not want to flatten or shallow the golf club all the way into the golf ball. Again, as a feeling, some of you guys who are incredibly steep and maybe look something like this where you get the club shaft to almost go this way and steepen incredibly, you might want to feel something like you're shallowing or flattening all the way into impact. But for the most part, all of you guys out there, for real, you're not gonna wanna actually do that. So that gets that out of the way. Let's start breaking down some of the differences between these two swings. There's definitely some similarities, but there's some major differences as well. All right, that's it for you guys on YouTube, but before you guys click off, let me give you some quick wrap up points. So when it comes to shallowing the golf club or flattening the club shaft with both of these players, they do not flatten or shallow the club shaft all the way into impact. So that is definitely a myth. So if you're hearing that on YouTube, that is not necessarily the truth. Now, for you guys out there who do steepen the club shaft quite drastically all the way into impact, well, you might need to feel something like that where you flatten or shallow all the way into impact, but that's not actually what's really happening. So it's really important to distinguish between feel versus real. And when you're hearing that they shallow all the way into impact, that is definitely a feeling and not necessarily a real or reality. If you guys wanna watch the whole video, definitely make sure to sign up for a membership site. There'll be a link down below. Make sure to also check out our six month program while you guys are down there. We have an in-person and online. Other than that, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, share all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys in the next video.